Hey there, I'd like to share with you today a spiritual lesson I've learned through COVID-19. Welcome back to Kairos. I know it's been a while since I've posted anything and my apologies for that. Like many people, this year has been strange and interesting for me personally. And so I've been thrown off my normal patterns and rhythms a little bit, but looking forward to getting back on track with these Kairos videos and podcasts now and got some good content lined up in weeks and months to come. But for today, I just wanted to share with you some of my own reflections from these past months and a spiritual lesson that I've learned through this time of the pandemic. So some of you will be aware, but most of you won't, that I had some uh, significant plans personally and for my family uh, this year, 2020. We were supposed to be moving to the United States for a couple of years for me to pursue postgraduate theological study. Now, that is not happening right now. It was actually about now, I was supposed to be arriving uh, in the United States, but I can hardly even get out of my own state here in Australia at the moment, let alone get out of the country, let alone into the United States. And so the studies are on hold for the time being. Now, this got me thinking about our plans and the will of God. And it was one of our members here at my congregation who helped me to think this through because during the time when it was becoming fairly apparent that our plans to go to the United States wouldn't be happening this year, he sent me a little note um, with a Bible reference and, and put next to that a quote of mine from a newsletter earlier in the year. So in that newsletter, I had written quite confidently that my family and I would be traveling to the United States to take up this study midway through 2020. And then he quoted for me from James chapter 4, which says this, James 4 from verse 13. Come now, you who say today or tomorrow we will go to such and such a town and spend a year there doing business and making money. Yet you do not even know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little while and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. As it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Now, the person who sent this to me did it with a very gracious spirit. It was partly just gently stirring me, to be honest, I think, but also making a serious and profound point. You know, I remember growing up and hearing people who would, who would talk in a way which sort of reflected the teaching of these verses from James. And so they would add phrases like, if the Lord wills, the Lord willing, to various plans and um, proposals that they were making. Now, I've got to admit, when I used to hear that, it sort of didn't really sit well with me. It just sounded a bit sort of clunky and, and I didn't really know what to make of it. Um, I didn't really take it all that seriously, to be honest. But one of the things this year has taught me is that there is something profoundly important about the outlook that these verses teach us for our Christian faith. We so confidently assert our own plans for the future as if we actually know what is going to happen. Whereas for Christians, we believe in the sovereignty of God. We believe in God's control over all things. We believe that God's will is to be done in our lives, in the world, not our own, not in the first place. And so it calls into question the way in which we talk and speak and, and make plans. Now, I don't think that these verses prohibit us from making plans and for dreaming and for being disciplined to get to goals that we set. But they are to, to give us a certain humility, to give us a certain tone about the way in which we talk about the future. Neither do I think that we need to woodenly add phrases like the Lord wills, the Lord willing to every single time we arrange to catch up with someone for a cup of coffee or anything like that. But especially about the big things, we should be commending these always into the Lord's hands and this should be reflected in some way how we talk about these things. This is one of the important lessons that I've learned this year through COVID-19 through this time of the pandemic, and perhaps this resonates with some of you as well. Now, thankfully, there are things about the future we can have confidence in, namely God, 
his promises, his action for us. Remember that the scriptures also say Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So when I look to what the Lord will do, I can have complete confidence, complete trust. I know what will come to pass and that it will be according to God's good purposes from God's perspective. But when it comes to my own planning, I need to learn a little bit more humility. I need to learn that God may have things in store that don't follow my plans. And that's okay. He always works all things for good. So as it stands now, I've deferred my um, study proposal one year. So if the Lord wills, maybe this time next year, I'll be able to head over to the United States with my family to pursue that track. If not, we'll see what's next. This is Kairos. Great to be back with you. God bless you. See you later. Thank mm-hmm. you.